Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing uh, a little haul from Sugoi Mart and also my Boxu. As I mentioned in previous videos, um, I'm doing the snack calls and like subscription mail like kind of more occasionally. So I'm not doing like a lot of subscription boxes monthly anymore. But whenever I see like a preview, if something looks really cool, then I will go ahead and go for it. Like I did with Boxu, I think it's been a couple months since I got it. And also just being more intentional about what I buy, buying things I know I'm obviously gonna use or eat <laughs> so I don't accumu accumulate so much clutter. Um, so I decided to pause the subscription boxes, um, but I did buy a few things from Sugoi Mart. Um, and some I've tried, some I haven't. <laughs> so let's dive in. Let's dive in. All right, so the first one is an item I haven't tried yet. Um, this brand, Tahato Caramel Corn. They have so many different flavors. Um, my favorite is the peach, and their pineapple is so really good. Um, they have so many different flavors, like peanut, almond, uh, the peach, the uh, um, the lemon, the, the uh, cantaloupe, pineapple, they have so many different flavors. I think they have strawberry too, but I haven't found that anywhere um, so far. But this is the Mont Blanc Caramel Corn. So I'm not sure what this tastes like, but it looks good. And just an FYI, I won't be doing any tasting today just because like I already had dinner and all that stuff today. So I won't be doing any tasting, but I just want to show you guys items that I got. So that way if you you know you want to check out either Sugoi Mart, they all always have like deals going on 10-20% off the store. Um or Boxu. Uh, I will have a um little coupon down below. I think it gives you like five or ten dollars off. So I'll link that down below if you're interested in signing up for Boxu. Uh you can get a little discount. Um so here is our next caramel corn. I was just talking about it. This is the pineapple tahato caramel corn. It's so good. Um the fruity ones have like a little bit of sweet and sour or i don't know if, i don't know if i'd say sour but like tart like um like a juicy white peach how it's like a little bit of that tartness you definitely get it in like these um caramel corn and they're like little puffs so it's not like american caramel corn like at all um these are like i want i don't want to say styrofoam but it's like that kind of has that texture um, but it tastes so good. Um, so I would recommend trying these out for sure. And yeah, I really like this one along with the lemon and the peach. Those have uh, a little bit more um, tartness to them. All right, and now for the third one I have not tried before. I'm really excited for this one. It is the mango caramel corn. Looks so good. And this is for the 50th anniversary, um, so I'm excited. Um, they have, this brand is really popular. They, they make so many different types of caramel corn and I personally like it way more than like our caramel corn. Like, it's so much better. Just in my opinion, it, it's so good. Um, all right, the next one here is this Sakura Latte um, powder mix. And it doesn't have the actual tea. Um, but I thought I had another one. I don't know what happened to it. I couldn't find it when I moved, which was really weird. Um, but I did get this, the Sakura Latte um, powder mix, because I bought a bunch of Sakura stuff to make my husband a cake, and I <laughs> couldn't find that stuff. But, and that was actually gonna be several months back. But it didn't happen, oh well. So, and then they send you little stickers. So that's a little sticker. And then the next thing is this Royal Peach uh, Milk Tea. I don't think I've tried this flavor. I've tried like the regular, like the black tea flavor, um, but I don't think I've tried this peach one before. And this looks pretty good. So we got that. And then I also got the Yuzu Green Tea. I, you know, you know me, I love the Yuzu. So, we got that. It's kind of a small box. So, I try to take advantage of like whenever I buy it directly from Sugoi Mart because the shipping is $20 um, or $28 now for DHL, uh, which 
isn't really too bad. I think at one point it was like 40 or something crazy. Um, and it's between like C post shipping, which literally can take two to three months. It's only an $8 difference to have like a three to five day shipping with DHL. So you definitely want to do DHL because if they mail it by boat, it will take forever. And I think that did happen to me with an item one time. I thought it was never going to come. It ended up coming three months later. It, yeah. Especially when it comes to food, you know, you don't want to be, don't want to be waiting three months for your stuff. Yeah. Just my FYI. All right. So the next one here, I was just opening. This is the Kalo Teen Sakura um, Eau de Toilette. This is the, uh, like their perfume in Sakura scent. So I hope it's good because these were like $40, $50 each, which honestly is still not very pricey for a perfume. I mean, some perfumes are ridiculous, like well over a hundred. So kind of a mid range price this is super cute floral design. Hmm. No, oh, it has a very sweet scent. Oh, I love that. Hmm. Like cherry. Yeah. It smells like cherry. <laughs> it smells good. I've, I've gotten, I got a Sailor Moon perfume from Sugoi Mart once. I think it was a Sugoi Mart, Sugoi Mart or eBay or something. I didn't like it and it was like $75 and it just had a very generic scent that I didn't care for. I mean, I kept it because it's Sailor Moon, but I just, like, I don't know. I just wasn't really a big fan of it. it smelled like very cologne and I don't know. Something of that was like Sailor Moon branded. I kind of expected like, you know, more like, perfumey like floral or fruity or something I don't know maybe it's me but all right we have one more and then this is the samurai woman sakura tea and this is the Audi parfum so I think the difference between the toilette and the parfum is I think the parfum is supposed to be longer lasting and the other one is Kind of like more like a body spray, but no, I'm still smelling it. Like that's that's pretty strong. That's pretty strong. So let's see what this one smells like because this is the Sakura tea um, scent. Cute little um, little bottle, and this is like a one ounce. It looks like it doesn't say. Does it? I think they do things in milligrams, but I'm not seeing it. Let's see. Okay, let's smell this. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. This is more. It smells good. I think this one is more um, florally. Like more of a flower type of scent. And I have to look up the notes. Let me see if I can look up the notes. I think I looked up the notes before I bought these just to see if I like them or not. Mm, they smell good. I think I don't prefer the fruity ones because I generally prefer fruity scents. But they do smell really good. So let's see. So the top on this is a little bit... I gotta wonder, like, and I know it's legit because this li like came from Japan um, and it's a Japanese product, but sometimes perfume, like on eBay and stuff or Amazon can be dupes. So you gotta be careful with that. Um, let's see. Kelotene Sakura perfume. Yeah, so it's, there's one on Amazon for $18. Um, it's on Fragrance X for $16 too, or similar one, uh, floral. Kalotine floral, this is the Sakura. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find the notes. I ended up buying it because I couldn't really find this one online. I've seen other variations. Okay, here we go. It was released in 20... 2019 
the type notes are gardenia leaf, which is strange because it was smelled very fruity. All right, so the heart notes are apricot, green apple, peony, and rose. I can see that. Um, base notes are musk, white, amber, and cedarwood. All right, so let's look up the Samurai Woman Sakura Tea uh, Perfume. Okay, so this one was released in 2020. Uh, the top notes are Cherry Blossom, Freesia, and Gardenia. I definitely got like the more floral and the heart notes are cherry leaf, rose, apricot, and green apple. So it's kind of similar to the first one. Although, like I said, like it's more like floral, along with white amber cedarwood and musk. Mm. It's funny, I don't think that Sakura was a note in the first one, which is weird. It's being marketed as a Sakura perfume. Let's see, uh, no. This one, Cabotine, yeah, there's not even, it's Sakura, but like Sakura is not even like in one of the notes on this, which is really weird, like, okay, anyway, I do like them both, and um, you know, from something, for something from Japan, that's like not a bad price, so. All right, so there's that. So we're gonna move on to our box zoo and see what we got here. Drop something. Oops. All right, so here's our box zoo. This subscription, I believe, is like forty-seven dollars a month. And then every so many boxes, you accumulate points that can you can use in their shop or a discount off of your next box, which is kind of nice for a subscription because most don't really have that. Like they don't really reward you for being a member. I feel like they reward people for joining, but not for being like a continuous member, which is weird. <laughs> anyway, right over. Um, so this one is the month of October. This is the Prefecture Passion. So, um, let's see, okay, uh, so this is from all over Japan, okay, from all different regions, prefectures, it has a little let's learn Japanese, kanji, furugana, romanji, translation, alright, so the first line was actually right on top, this is the Kisarazu blueberry gummy. Which looks good. I don't really see blueberry gummies too often. I'm not usually a gummies gal, but I want to try that. Um, let's see. Farmers have been cultivating sweet blueberries in the Kisarazu city for over 30 years. Um, the maker uses real blueberry juice to make these bouncy gummies. So this is a sweet gummy. I love like the sour gummies, like the the pude gummies. It's so good. All right. What is this? Thank you. Okay, let's see. Here's a card. Thank you for being an incredible boxing member and happy November. I hope you'll enjoy your favor your flavor trip to 12 different prefectures. I visited 10 out of the 12 so far and we hope to see you to see the other two one day. Did you enjoy the new Fanwari Meijin Mochi Puff flavor? I love how they are so light and airy yet fused with deliciousness. Hope tasting them brings joy to your taste to your late autumn festivities. All right. Oh, Boxing Market has expanded to include artisanal goods for your home. Hmm, I gotta check that out. Uh, okay, so this is by Danny Tang, the founder. Okay, so let's go to our first item. Do, 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 do. Okay, so the first one here, it looks like the like little fries. These are Corito Crunchy Yaga Curry. Let's see. These are rice crackers with uh, curry powder, uh, black pepper, and cumin. So it doesn't even say they're fries, but they look like they look like potatoes. I mean, clearly, but they're rice crackers. I'm very confused. Those rice crackers. I mean, look at that. 
That's strange. Okay, looks like little potatoes to me. Uh, okay, so what is our next one? So our next one is, okay, this is the musk melon mochi, mochi, that sounds French. Uh, a boche is a bite-sized pastry with sweet filling in between two buns. Uh, the maker incorporates cantaloupe juice and luscious cream. Oh wow, that's definitely different than like some anything we've gotten before. That sounds really good, actually. Taking a peek in there, that sounds really good. Can't wait to try that. All right. Um, so. The next one we got here are these Funwari Meijin Mochi Puffs. Um, they disappear like snowflakes on your tongue. The flavor is Gomadare Mochi because it tastes like the sweet black sesame sauce you pour on mochi. Ooh, like sesame. It looks good. It almost looks like cookies and cream. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it looks good. All right. So, all right, the next one here is this Benimo Purple Yam Pie. It's this one right here. Uh, Benimo is a purple yam known for its striking color, natural sweetness, and superfood status. For this hand pie, the sweet Benimo filling is balanced by the buttery pie crust. Okay, so this is from Okinawa, which is known for their sweet yams. That sounds really good. Especially like when we have like Thanksgiving coming up. It really does sound good. All right, the next one we have here, it looks like a yuzu cake. And by the way, it's Halloween right now, and you know, we're homeowners now, we still don't get trick-or-treaters. It's, go figure. <laughs> um, I don't know. I didn't even really see people trick-or-treating when I was driving home. Um, but yeah, this is the yuzu souffle. Uh, souffle in French means to puff up, and we think you'll agree this light cake is extremely fluffy. The subtle flavors of yuzu entangle with butter for an indulgent snack that goes well with any coffee or tea. Mm. Ooh, it looks very fluffy. Can't wait. <laughs> okay. So what's next? So okay, the next one here is the Shinshu no Kobito. This crunchy snack hails from Nagano Prefecture, which is used to be called, which used to be called Shinshu. Shinshu. <laughs> That's hard to pronounce. The prefecture is famous for its apples, so maker Takachino created these apple-flavored goodies as souvenirs. Ooh. This is a really great time for those. For, uh, for apple things, we just got back from Apple Hill today and got a bunch of apple stuff. And we got another one. Okay. So what do we got next? We got everything's falling. All right, so the next one we got here are these dried persimmon mochi. Wow, they are really stepping up their fall game. This sweet and squishy, the sweet and squishy mochi are flavored with hoshigaki or dried persimmon. If you've never had persimmon before, they are a fruit that tastes like honey and cinnamon. People have created these for over 1,000 years. Wow. Okay. I, I, I'm usually like not overly into mochi but that's that's an interesting flavor for it yeah a mochi i i, I want to try it all right so what do we got next um all right oh, okay we got black sesame soft candy that does not feel soft <laughs> i don't know what what is it a joke like oh i guess that maybe it is okay so they look like these little balls. They're in these packages, maybe I'll show you what that looks like here. They're like these little balls. And these were the, like the yams. I probably should have shown you guys the books. These were the, this was the little cake. But this is sweet, sweet and a little nutty. These black sesame treats are seriously chewy. Japan's top dairy products come from Hokkaido, so Hokkaido-based maker uh, incorporated creamy Hokkaido milk in the soft juice. Ooh. You couldn't chew, quote unquote, see a better uh, choose a better snack to eat for a mid-afternoon energy boost. Ooh. That sounds kind of good, but it looks like rock, like a hard rock uh, candy when you look at it, which is interesting. 
And here was the apple snack that they that they showed us. And okay, so let's see. The next one is this matcha azuki crunch. And they always send a, like a few items of each, which is always appreciated. Um, this is a flurry of puff rice, azuki red bean, and matcha taste combined to pack a flavor punch. Crispy, crunchy, and utterly impossible not to devour after your first bite. These verdant treats will show you that it is easy being green. Okay, that's funny. So this is what it looks like. So I love anything matcha flavored. I just got something earlier. And then the next one we have here is this yuzu salt koji arare rice cracker. So that's these. Uh, the you, do you, pun intended, want to try another yuzu flavored snack? The small but mighty rice cracker is flavored with yuzu and salted koji fermented rice and umami rich seasoning popular in the Tohoku region. I love yuzu, so I know I will be enjoying that and not sharing with anybody else. All right, so the next one, they always send a tea, which I like. That kind of pairs with things. Uh, is Uji Sencha. And you know, let me know down in the comments below. Do you want me to, when I try this, do you want me to like have the tea ready and then just like try the things with the tea? Cause I know a lot of people do that. They'll like try the drink and then they'll try like some of the stuff with it. So let me know down below. Maybe I'll do that. Um, you will fall for the adorable packaging of this tea and its refreshing taste. Matabe is based in Kanagawa, but makes their tea using Sencha green tea leaves from Uji, Kyoto. This richly grassy and slightly bitter taste will comfort you even on the coldest days. Yeah, Uji is really good. A lot of like Uji matcha and stuff is so good. Um, and I guess that's a place in Kyoto. I did not know that. Let's see. I think I would know this, but okay. So there's one more item here. Let's so, okay. this is very. <laughs> I think I've seen this before. This is called Mike popcorn. This is yuzu pepper. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, Mike popcorn was Japan's first domestic popcorn brand, and now they. Pro produce bold and exciting flavors like yuzu pepper. To make the seasoning, yuzu peel is added to chopped chili peppers and salt, and then aged. The result, a slightly spicy and citrusy snack you won't want to put down. Ooh, probably a good thing I'm not opening this right now. Mm. Let's see. Yum, that looks good. All right, so let's go to the packaging. So we'll really good since I last bought something from them. Uh, it just tells you a little bit about some of the things here. The Hoshigaki, a beautiful and tasty fall tradition. In Automal Japan, it's common to see strings of dangling orange globes on farms and outside houses. Those eye-catching fruits are Hoshigaki or persimmons that have dried on sticks of bamboo. Hmm. Let's take a closer look at this historical fruit. How is Hoshigaki made? There are two types of kaki persimmons, fuyu, which tends to be sweeter, and hachiya, which tends to be tangier. Traditionally, people peel two unripe hachiya persimmons, then they hang them on two ends of the same string draped over a two inch piece of bamboo. They are left hanging in the sun for a week and then massaged by hand every day for a month. When the persimmons turn dark and are covered in white sugar, it's time to eat. Hmm. And then how to eat them. If you're lucky enough to buy some of them or have made some, you can incorporate the persimmon in many delightful ways. Use them as you would a dried apricot or throw them in stews, granolas, and even baked into cakes. They're high in vitamin A and C and they're a healthy addition to any snack or meal. In Japan, hoshigaki are used as an ornament in traditional New Year's decorations, a sign of good luck and longevity. An animal persimmon party. We hope you enjoy, you hope you love the taste of the hoshigaki mochi in this month's box and getting to know more about our dried persimmons. If you are going to try to make your own hoshigaki this fall, post a photo on Instagram and tag us at Foxu. So, I don't know. Hoshigaki. Yeah. I gotta try that. That sounds really interesting. So they, 
um, pick unripe persimmons, draping them over a two inch piece of bamboo. They are left hanging in the sun, then massaged by hand every day for a month. And then when they turn dark and are covered in sugar, it's time to eat. So you can use them for like granola, um, like cereal, cakes. Oh, that sounds interesting. Wow. So snowy Hokkaido. Uh, it's treats, savory and sweet. Hope you like the cold. Next month's haiku hint. Oh, oh, okay. So I think they're giving a hint to their next box, which you never, they never done before. Snowy Hokkaido. It's treats, savory and sweet. Okay. Hmm. So it is October 31st. I think at either, if not now, I'll go after this video, I will go and check Boxu's website to see if their peak of November is available. Cause that's usually when I'll look and I'll decide whether or not I want to get the box next month or pause for a month. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to go, go do right now guys. So I won't spoil it for anyone who doesn't want to be spoiled. So I'm going to go do that. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know I'm not doing really too much of the snack calls anymore. I've been doing kind of like more fashion and I'm still kind of like figuring out like what I want to do. I, it's, it's been difficult. It's been a lot of, of pressure just to kind of see like what's working and what's not working and just things that I'm really interested in. Um, sometimes it's a little bit stressful, but I'm trying to get all the videos up because I know I was just, I've been behind by like a month and a half with loading because I've done so many videos. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate all of your guys' support. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in another video real soon. Bye. I was